Hello, I'm Darian Kath, and welcome to Knife River Indian Village's National Historic Site. This was the ancestral homelands for the Hidatsa tribe, and today I'm standing in front of a reconstruction of one of their houses that they used to live in called an Earth Lodge. And today we're going to go inside and I'm going to give you a quick tour of it. Ranger Darian leads the way into the Earth Lodge reconstruction, which is a large mound assembled with dirt, grass, and logs. He lifts the bison hide door. The interior is circular and lined with logs. It is furnished. As we come inside, you'll notice that it's actually quite spacious and roomy in here. The diameter of this lodge is approximately 40 feet, and that was an average sized lodge for a family of about 10 to 20 people back then. And these earth lodges would be uh, clustered tightly together within a village space, and in the daily life of the Hidatsas, they would be uh, sleeping on platform beds. The beds have a hide canopy with bison fur blankets. You can see as we come, come around the lodge here, as well as a food preparation platform. A log table with clay crafted pots. And a pit in the ground with a log ladder. A cash pit. Now the Hidatsas were gardeners, so all the excess corn, beans, and squash that they would produce from their gardens would end up being stored in a cash pit like this. Another feature of this lodge is called the Atuka. Darien crosses to a U-shaped willow mat on the left side of the lodge. It's basically a seating area and if we think of your house today this would be considered like the couch. Darien sits on the Atuka. Next to the Atuka is a robe and the robe commemorates the battle exploits of a Mandan chief by the name of Matatope, or Four Bears. And each pictograph is a significant event that occurred in his lifetime during various battles he was involved in. Speaking of war, there's also a shrine. A wooden frame with decorated shields, bow and arrows, a spear, and ceremonial bison masks. The warrior of the lodge would have all of his items on display whether he was in religious ceremonies or in various other uh, groups and organizations within his village, all of his most prized possessions would be on display in this shrine here. Darien points to decorated boxes hanging from the ceiling. Suspended on the uh, roof of the lodge are various storage boxes. And these would house any of the things you didn't want the mice to get into. Luckily with maybe four to six dogs within here, there wasn't a lot of mice to be had. On this side of the lodge, we have a corral set up. So in cases where there might be the enemy tribe lurking about the village, the family would bring in their two most prized possessed horses into the lodge overnight. Saddles made of hide drape over the corral. And here's the fire pit. A fire pit is in the center of the earth There was lodge. probably a fire always going in the lodge for cooking, whether it was for the family or guests coming in. Above the lodge is the smoke hole. And in times of rain or blizzards, they would cover the smoke hole with a boat known as a bull boat, which is constructed of one whole bison hide. A 360 view from the center of the earth lodge, seeing the fire pit in the middle, the exploit robe, storage container suspended from the roof, beds with bison fur, the shrine, the cash pit, the food preparation table, corral, and a tuca. Bison hooves hang at the back of the bison hide door as we exit into a white screen. The white fades into the exterior of the earth lodge. End text reads, Knife River Indian Villages National Historic Site. 